Aries, welcome to your love, romance, and relationship reading. Solstice read. Coming in on the 20th now. We're looking at the next few days as we go through the solstice and we change signs from Sagittarius into Capricorn. It's always, everything means something, but it's a big one. Now, I feel like when we show up in our own reading in this position, which is meant to show where our mind and heart is at in and around love, romance, and relationships, to me it means we're right on. We're being completely authentic. We're totally being ourselves. It, there could be an implication of, you know, my way or the highway, but some, however that's Aries, then so be it. Um, but this is the energy you're in and you know whatever sign you are when you show up like this being authentically yourself um it, i just think it's a wonderful energy and you, you kind of i think you could say in this little reading like you couldn't do any better uh, than the person showing up here with their own card uh, now what's challenging you is the five of swords and i think it's some kind of negative thinking that's what that is uh, uh, lousy, stinking, negative thinking going on. Um, and it's probably about past stuff. Um, you know, um, you think of it too, this is being in the blocking position. You could say it's a five of swords reverse. So, you know, that's really like a holding, almost holding back a fight or having a fight in our own head. So I think that's something going on in your own head. Um, because what the advice is from spirit with the 10, of cups to show that a little better because a beautiful ten of cups here in the guild of terra royale um the happy family card i mean it's complete fulfillment here complete emotional fulfillment i mean for a love reading it only means one thing uh, it means you have your person here and this is advice from spirit kind of consider this the most important card in this little uh, really five card read if you count the bottom of the deck which i do so it's definitely about someone. Why well, I think this kind of ongoing, you would know this person. And the outcome here has got to be your person here. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, think about it. Uh, Earth sign. You know, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, I think a little general reading like this, that's enough. Uh, the other thing that this is... Uh, Besides you being stubborn and being an emperor, this is you being authentic and being yourself. What this is, is your person is showing up in a very solid way. This is, uh, or if they're already here or if they're coming, rest assured that your person is also uh, Aries authentic and genuine and they're in it for the long haul. I mean, and they're coming into the reading, so into your Ten of Cups. It's like they're coming home to... Papa or coming home to mama, I don't know. The knight's coming home. There's the family there, supposed to represent, see. Um, and so this is someone you can count on. There's something coming in that you can count on. You you have the ace of cups here. It's your love. And if there was any doubts, I mean, by this tarot reading here, you know, I, just, I always think the winter solstice is a, is a, is a difficult time a poignant, poignant time you know uh, sad boom goes into Capricorn it's like things get really serious after that you know um, but this is um, energy here it's very solid you know um, Capricorn I like a lot because Capricorn and Aries go well together you know um, the ram and the goat they can get along okay you know um, Typically, uh, the Capricorn wins, and they will because they want to build and climb, and the Aries just wants to go. But so, the Capricorn will kind of guide them into the more structure in their life, and things like this. I'd say it. I'm a Sag. It works the same way for me. I find Capricorn to be very grounding uh, energy. I was married to a Capricorn for 25 years. So there you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, yeah. Let me uh, know what you think of this, Aries. I really appreciate anybody commenting and uh, on anything. Um, let, you know, I'll try to get back to you. I'm always curious, uh, one, if it resonates, you know, for you. 
Um, this could be st someone incoming, but it, if it is, and I think it's coming soon, real soon, here. And you have the blessings here, spirit, and that's needed. If there's any doubt as to how, how good and genuine this is. So congratulations, I guess, Aries. Thank you.